I got the combat and the wild boys loaded up in the truck and we're headed to Florida, Osceola hunting. I'm hoping to get on the team. Let's see what happens. Got a good buddy of mine from college, Bill Thomas. He's hooked us up on a hunt down there in Florida. The only thing is, I forgot how big a talker is. Where that cow is, we'll check out that swamp as well. We need to kill about an hour, hour and a half. Just left and west of the ball. And uh, the big gentleman came out of these palettes. And uh, he came out here in this walk. He's got the horn of the corn. Of the slow. He's got the pigs out of the going into the palmetto. He's got the most cows. 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 And then we got the old James. James is the master. 
of concealment. Oh, okay. Got I've really been looking forward to going down there to Florida to hunt, hunt with Bill and James and, and taking my new uh, combat and wild buddies with me. We were going to have a good time. Little did I know, not only were we going to do some turkey, but we got in some hog. Well, we're in Florida. We're on an afternoon hunt. Me and Joey go out. Me and Joey hunting together because I want a coin toss with Jim of who I wanted to hunt with and where I wanted to hunt. So there was a certain piece of property that I really wanted to go to that I got on some birds last year. So we figured we'd try it right off the bat and see if we could get in there in the evening time and see what we could do. And we was easing up that way and right down on the edge of the field, we looked out of there and lo and behold, there was a gobbler. Jake and some hands out their feet. Well, this land out there, it's real open. It's a lot of open land with smaller hammocks. And me and Joe, we got to figure out how we're going to get on these birds because they're good ways out in this field and we on the edge of this canal it's got a couple of smaller live oak trees and some palmetto so we do the old belly crawl and get up there on the edge of the canal and set up the camera and everything gets set up and we start videoing and watching these birds and me and him talking the best thing to do is sit back and wait and see which way these birds are headed because that's going to be our best shot Come up and watch it in there. Well, I look down to my left and I see some hens start popping out of the sagebrush field coming in. They're coming to the hammock. And I look back behind them. There's several hens. I look back behind them and one of them's a little puffy. And I tell Joey, I said, I think that might be the gobbler coming up behind them. Well, he zoomed in on the camera and looked at him. He said, that's him, you know. He come out and was strutting, finally got out in the open when all the hens started flying up. When they was flying up, I'm thinking there ain't no way, you know, we're going to get this bird this evening. But I had the best gut feeling we're going to put this bird to bed and we'll be back in the morning and we're going to have a good chance of killing him in the morning.
Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Un Did you get that on video? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Unbelievable. Have you ever done that? No. My leg went out. Huh? You ever done that? I'm about I hope I didn't shoot his beard off. Dang about this. Huh? How about that, Jamie? We waited that bird out, didn't we? Yep, I shot his beard off. He didn't. Yeah, it is. Dang sure it did. I want to see the hooks on. Jamie, who's my cameraman? But I mean, we had a day today. Day. Me, it baby. Is, I mean, it is a day to day. My video is a little shaky. I was free handed. Oh, oh drop dead, Fred. Uh, did you see me when I got up? It felt like I went in a hole. Golly, I peeled his head, though, you know? Yeah. Huh? Just that shot, the way he was blowed up, I reckon, right there. Golly. That's patient turkey hunting. That's what you call patience. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, and I, I gotta tell everybody, I thank Joey, because he's stuck with me the whole time. I kept telling him to shoot this evening. I know I'm gonna catch crap and Corey and Jim, but he can honestly say, I said, I'll run the camera, you shoot. Now nah, I want to run my camera, my new camera. He just got the camera. If we... <laughs> first day using it. First day using it. This goes to Jim Bomb. We are doing a Thunder Chicken Smackdown, baby. Do the day, do the day. <laughs> I hate I shot his beard off. I was worried about that when I shot. I jump up, go to head towards the bird. Next thing I know, I am straight on my face. My legs went in the ground. It was, I mean, it was funny. It made the hunt even better to me. I got out there to the bird. I had so much adrenaline going on. Joey was pumped up. First time him using his camera, got it on film. Got my first Osceola in Florida. And I have to give Jim a big thanks for carrying me down there. Because, I mean, it was first time Osceola. I've been wanting that for a while. Been wanting it for a while. So we head out to this hammock that afternoon. I mean, it is the most beautiful turkey hunting spot you've it ever is. seen. I got my buddy Jim here filming for me. And he's a uh, prospect for a pro staff member of Combat in the Wild. So he's, he's kind of on probation. So. We get set up, it's raining a little bit. You know, Jim's complaining about the rain, he wants to go back to the camp or something. Not really. <laughs> and <laughs> Let's tell the truth now if we're gonna tell it. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Well, let's go, <laughs> let's go back to the camp. No, no, well. But it was it was just a bad hunt to start with. Thunderstorms. We had to go back out work. to the golf cart to get the Joey's GoPro off the golf cart. And we finally get set up about 30 minutes before roost time. So we're sitting there, I'm panning across, and Jim's got the camera down by his side. I got my shotgun in my lap, and I look to the left, and all of a sudden, literally 30 yards away, here's this huge Osceola gobbler running to the strutting decoy. Game is on. I mean, it's on. It's the prettiest stuff I've seen. This is a dead bird. Yeah, I mean, there was no doubt it was dead. Put it up so it don't get wet. Anyway, well, I didn't hit record, but my man's done got him a sure enough limb hanger. Show them them spurs. I ain't hold them up to the sky. Look at the spurs on that Osceola turkey right there. Well, I'll tell you what, real quick, so Jim's camera don't get wet. We stood up in here in this hammock where James told us to come and we had to go back to the golf cart because we left the GoPro camera so it wouldn't get wet. It was just messed up from, day, from the get-go. I mean, it was just a, a bad hunt. We got set up on that oak tree over there and sitting there and Jim's like, we ain't got but about 10 minutes left before they fly up. And I, I'm sitting here looking around. I look up and this guy, big gobbler, 
has walked in silent. I mean, he's he's 30 yards, and he comes to the decoy, struts around the decoy, and about jumped on it. And I was had my gun in my lap. I had to get it up, and I smoked him. And Jim didn't press record, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. I've done it before. Rookie, rookie, Everybody's rookie. Everybody's done it before. So, we'll, we'll get... <laughs> I mean, I got my got my turkey. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did not hit record. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, Jim, no, I want you to tell everybody exactly what happened. I, I think I'm not positive about it, but I think I didn't hit the record button. But when I came up with that, with that. <laughs> When I came up with that camera, I, I knew I'd hit that record button, and I didn't. But I will give Corey credit. If it had happened to me, I'd have been a lot madder than Corey because Corey did, 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 uh, <laughs> well, he didn't get too mad. I'd have got, I got mad, but uh, it was one of the most beautiful hunts I've been on in my turkey hunting career, and uh, what can I say? I didn't hit record. I You're still my buddy, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking some Osceola turkeys in South Florida. Combat in the wild. Finally got Corey a bird, and now it's my time to shoot. Unfortunately, the turkeys were few and far between, but the hogs, they were there. This evening we're going hog hunting and I'm filming this guy Mike that we've met down there the last couple of years and he is totally not right in the head. You ever found a live gentleman getting shot? A live gentleman? <laughs> the movie Sling Blade, Carl, this is Carl's brother. You ever found a live gentleman getting shot? A live gentleman. <laughs> Get him. Well, Bill runs this hog out the marsh after he shoots at him with that 45, and I got him in the camera, and he's running, and I'm hollering just steadily, just shoot him, shoot him, Mike, shoot him, and he goes to shooting. Get him. Come on, him. Get him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Mike, shoot him. What are you waiting on? Shoot him. You went behind him. Shoot him again. We way in front of him, Mike. Come on, shoot that pig. That pig's running a mile away. Oh, you went over him. Shoot him. No better than this right here. This is what smoking bacon is all about. You get out here in the south woods of Florida, it's just covered with hogs. And what do you got? You have some fun. This is fun right here. This is fun killing. Ain't nothing more I can say. Like I said at the beginning of this footage, ain't nothing better than smoking bacon. Arcadia, Florida. 
<laughs> further review of the play, we come back looking at the hog footage, and after further review, when we back the cameras up, Matthew shot the hog and killed the hog. Mike, I really don't know what the heck Mike was doing, to be honest. <laughs> he got He's got to my Mike way. shot a couple of times, but Matthew. How far Georgia was that a shot? On, smoked some bacon, How baby. How far was that he shot? Smoked some bacon. I would say the shot Pulled was probably out. at least 200 yards running, Corey. No, oh, it was more, it was no. more, was more like 400. That? that was probably 400, right? Probably 400, 400 yards. yards. Mike. So here it is, me and Jamie, last day of the hunt. We're heading back to camp. We're about to pass the last hammock before we get there to go pack up. Jamie wants to step out, hit a box call, and bam, he hammers. Yeah! How about that, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> Help me out of here. Help me up. <laughs> oh, Un freaking believable. Son's bad, I know. I thought about that. Did you see the bobcat? Yeah, I saw him. How about that? I'll tell you what. This is typical turkey hunting right here. I was down and out last day, last morning. We went to a bird they've heard the past three mornings. He was way away. He was like, Jamie, let's just go back to the camp. Start packing up. Pulled up this spot where we said, you know, this would be a pretty spot to kill a turkey. Jamie's like, let's hit a box call. We, I was like, all right. We just parked the truck right there in the middle of the open ground. He had a box call and this joker gobbled in this hammock. And he's like, oh crap, we got all our stuff out all excited. Truck part right there behind us. We get all set up. I'm like, dang, he ain't gonna come out here with this truck in the roadway. <laughs> Joe, see what we got over here, man. Drop dead Fred. <laughs> he has been our buddy here, ain't he? Two year old. Got three quarter. Maybe seven eighths. Yeah, look. <laughs> that was that was awesome. Unbelievable. I mean that's like Joe said, that's Turkey hunt, man, at its best right there. You just never know. It's be down and out. And I think the whole hunt lasted I recorded was 13 minutes. You know, <laughs> it took 13 minutes to kill him. I do think though, watching when I told Joey to shoot him, I think Joey was gonna let him mess with drop dead Fred for a second or react like, but I do think that sun was shining right on us and he picked that old head up and looked yeah. towards us. You see, that's yeah. when I said he might have shoot him. <laughs> Oh. Y'all should have, I, I wished I could have swung the camera over on the bobcat, but that bobcat he looked was, like, yeah, he was, I, he, was, he was fixing to drop Fred dead. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think the bobcat was. <laughs> they ain't gonna believe this. I mean, they ain't gonna believe it. South Florida turkey hunting. True Osceola.
It's black on the wings. Three and a half days, three long beers. See it? I mean, mm. combat in the wild. Thank you. Oh, me. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, Did you get that on video? Yeah. Have you ever done that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Corey. Damn. Did, yeah, yeah. Did you hit the record button this time? Yeah, I think okay. it's on. I see a little red dot. Is that you know is I, that what that little red dot means? I'm not even gonna mess with you because I know when we get back to camp, you ain't even gonna be able to sleep tonight. Oh because they're gonna be messing with you. Well you gotta you got a point there. We're still down here in South Florida. Me and Jamie have killed our birds. Start yeah. over. I'm <laughs> screwing around. <laughs> you know, the guys went down there and they had a great hunt down in South Florida. They got some great film. They knocked down some really good birds, even though Jim might have forgot to hit the record button. But, you know, it's a mistake that it's going to happen every once in a while. Just hopefully it's not too often. And then, uh, you know, they got some really funny film on top of that, which is, you know, that's always a big plus. So make sure to go on to YouTube, subscribe to our page, and also make sure to get on Facebook and click like so you can keep up to date with all the uh, hunting news going on with Combat in the Wild.